Welcome back to my channel, guys. It's your girl, Coco Styles. And on this channel, we talk about beauty, fashion, lifestyle, and styling, guys. So today, I am bringing to you, ladies, one part of a two-part series, I guess. So today, I'm going to talk about the 2022 essentials that... 2022 fall essentials that all women should have in their wardrobes. If you do not have these pieces, it doesn't mean that you need to run out and buy it. You most likely aren't into it, if that makes sense. So I'm going to jump right into it. And I have about, hmm, I got, I got, I got quite a few pieces on here, guys. <laughs> and I think I made my list a little bit longer. So the first thing is trench coats, basic, basic trench coats. I'll pop in some photos over here. Let me slide over. I'll pop in some photos. So basic trench coats, I completely think that everyone should have that in their wardrobe. Um, because we are in the era of oversize, you can get an oversized coat. However, when that trend goes, you're going to have to replace it. Unless you just like to wear oversized, like men's style clothing. But a trench coat is number one. The second thing is a wool camel coat or even a black wool coat. I would prefer belted, but if you are not a belted person or you don't want to be stuck with a belt, you can definitely always take an actual big belt and put it over your coat. And I'll pop in a picture of that as well. So those are two coats that I definitely think that you need for evening and just for going out. I've seen women wear those with sneakers and it looks really, really cute. The third piece is a leather moto jacket. Okay, I have I have quite a few, but my two black ones, they are, let me make sure I'm focused, guys. My two black ones are different. Um, one is actually Kenneth Cole, and I had it for a really long time. It's a really nice coat. And that one is more of, I don't wanna, I guess you could say oversized. The other one is much more tailored and more feminine. So people always ask me, why do I have two? That's why one is more feminine. I can wear it with like skirts. You can wear the other one with skirts, but it's more of a tailored fit. So that's the third thing is leather jackets, guys. Um, we can get them anywhere. I like the leather jackets from All Saints. I think they're really nice. Um, I don't think they're expensive to me, but I love them. The fourth thing is a cardigan. And <laughs> cardigans are love hate some people love them some people hate them um i know a lot of people who wear them all the time like i don't know but a nice thick cardigan um long is perfect river island listen people sleep on river island but in, my camera is like going in and out of focus i'm sorry guys river island to me has really 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 nice long cardigans like good quality and what you can do with those is you can basically make sure that you're taking them to a really good dry cleaner, okay? Because I had a really nice sweater, like it was so nice, and my lady jacked me up, and I was really pissed. It was just linty, and I was just like, oh my God. So a cardigan is another essential that you need, and you can get those in any color. I would say go for a color that you would always wear. So if you don't, because here's the thing, cardigan is like a coat, so it can basically cover your entire outfit. Got sorry, I have like hair in my eye. <laughs> it can cover, it's my, I hope it's not going in and out. It can cover your entire outfit pretty much if you just want to have on a t-shirt, some sneakers and some jeans, you're good. And the other sweater, the other two sweaters is a nice chunky knit, um, which I like mom's handmade sweaters and a nice turtleneck, preferably black, okay? And the reason why I say black is because you can use it a lot more. I'm all about cost per wear, guys, so if you can buy an item and wear it multiple times in multiple ways, that is a win for me. And the other top I would say would be a blazer, a black blazer. Black is not my favorite color as far as clothes, However, I have two different black blazers. One is like a tuxedo style, and the other one has um, 
like some lines on the side almost like adidas so black blazer is really good um if you go for oversized you can definitely wear like hoodies and stuff under it that's also very cute so it really depends on your style all right so let's get into bottoms leather skirts you cannot go wrong with leather skirts ladies here's the thing i love pencil skirts um i love pencil skirts with pockets and the reason why i like pockets is because i don't have a lot of hips okay so i have to give the illusion of it um for you ladies who are very shapely you can buy pencil skirts anywhere if you do leather um if you are into vegan leather just know that it doesn't last as long so just be mindful and just take really good care of it um for those of you who like leather vince has nice leather stuff um and what's my other leather skirt from i forget the other brand but mango also has real leather and faux leather so check them out too um a nice pair of jeans and if you are a person who loves skinny jeans you can definitely go for that but make sure you have a dark wash a dark wash is really nice wide leg pants are in you can still wear those in the fall i listen i'm not fully into trends so if you like wide leg jeans wear them if you like skinny leg jeans wear them just have some jeans for the fall you also want to have like a great pair of leather leggings i have a pair that i had for whew, since 2013 from bcbg and you guys know i am six feet tall let me tell you something those leggings i think they were like 250 maybe 325 i don't know all i know is that they fit me they fit me all the time and i have like room they're not like super high waters or anything like that i got lucky so a nice pair of leather leggings um if you are a person who likes regular cotton leggings you could go for that but to be stylish go for something leather you can wear those with moto boots you can wear them with um what do you call those any type of shoe pretty much like a sneak it depends on how you want it but i would recommend like a cute little moto boot super cute um and then you want to go for so that's leggings um jeans and skirts right here when it here's here's the shoes guys when it comes to shoes you're gonna have a lot and the reason why i say this is because we're all so different chunky loafers are in but if you're not a chunky loafer type of girl you're not gonna go for that trend right so ankle boots right a simple pair of ankle boots you can get you ones with strings or without strings but i would say go for a classic silhouette so you can wear them often then you want a moto boot i have a nice i don't know if they're considered moto boots but i still need a low pair that i can just throw on with like some leggings or something right um if you don't want a regular moto boot you can get something with a heel with like strings super cute a little block heel um something that you can wear often you can wear it with skirts, pleated skirts, um, denim skirt. It, however, girls are wearing shorts in the fall too with stockings. So just get creative with it. But those type of boots are needed in your wardrobe. Um, you, I still love over the knee boots, guys. I don't care. Um, since I'm tall, it was very hard for me to find a over the knee boot. But Stuart Weitzman had it. And they also sell a wide guy. So if you have wide feet, um, they're classic iconic boots. They come over the knee and I got the stretch leather, which I was a little concerned about at first because when I see stretch leather, it don't really be leather guys, but these are actually really, really nice. Um, you also want like more of like a calf height boot. Um, any kind you can get slouch. A slouch is really cute because you can slouch them down with skirts. You can do a whole bunch of things, but you don't always necessarily have to wear them up. Uh, Tamara Melon. Tamara Mellon, I think that's her name. Nice boots. She has a really nice pair, two pairs on her site right now that are a nice medium heel height and they're over the knee and they're butter soft, guys. Butter soft. So, you also want to have a pair of sneakers. I have the Koyos. I think they call Koyos. I've been saying Koyo for the longest time. <laughs> um, I love those sneakers. I wear them all the time. They're comfortable. I don't have any issues with them. I had them for a while now. They had a sale, they did. Um, and I should've got another pair, but mine's not in really good condition. Coils are a little bit more affordable than those common project ones. 
they still have a really sleek silhouette you can wear it with trousers skirts jeans anything you'll be good to go and when it comes to bags you want to have structured bags okay structured bags are a must if you don't like structured bags you can go for a tote because sometimes totes have like some little structure when it comes to the sides and the bottom so if you don't want like a regular satchel structure bag you can definitely go for a tote bag um and i want to add one more thing into the the coats and the outerwear like vests vests are really nice and they're actually in this season so women are going to be wearing puffy vests leather or regular down or i have seen in the airways <laughs> Um, Sherlins. Sherlins are definitely back. I, for one, love a Sherlin, okay? I don't care what it is. I just love it. I guess because I'm old school, 80s baby. So for me, Sherlins are in. They will always be in. They will never go out of style. Um, so you can add that onto your essentials list. Now, this list is things that I would think that you would already have. So like, sunglasses is another thing. Um, even though it's fall, it gets sunny still, okay? Um, and then you also have, what was the other thing I had on my list? Sunglasses, gloves. Gloves and scarves, okay. Depending on where you live, your fall may not be as cold as a fall in New York City. So because I am a New Yorker, I always have gloves. I don't care. I love gloves that come all the way up to your elbows. Um, it's just something that I, I love to see on women. And I love leather gloves. So you can get nice gloves. They have gloves that have little cutouts um, that are still very stylish. Not like biker gloves, but they have feminine gloves that do not have like those little <laughs> holes on the top of that strap. They do have those. So pick you up some nice gloves. Gloves actually add a lot of style to your outfit. I don't see many women doing it, but the ones that I, suit, I do see, I'm like, okay, girl, you got it. So glasses, another thing. Um, just pick a nice square pair of glasses. Um, you don't have to spend a lot of money if you don't want to. And guess what, ladies? I'm sure you guys already have some <laughs> from the summer. So just start getting creative with what you have so you're not like overspending for the fall. Now, when it comes to trends for the fall, that's different. You're going to end up buying stuff. However, the trends for this year, you probably already have them in your wardrobe. There's some sheer on there, there's some, there's leather, there's tank tops on there, the color fuchsia is on there. Um, what else did I see? Sherlin is on there. So take a look at that if you are interested in that. But right now, you should always have the essentials in your wardrobe um, for the fall. These, and, and here's the thing, these are like classic pieces. So if you don't have it and then you're thinking about investing in it, then just invest in it. Don't skim on the price. Um, try to get the best quality so next fall you'll have it, especially your outerwear. You don't want to really skim on that. You don't want to buy something that's not 100% wool. It's going to show. Um, the jackets don't really fall the same and they do not last, guys. It's just it's pointless to do it, um, to buy something that's cheaper because you're trying to save a buck or just wait till it go on sale. I'm just saying. <laughs> so those are my top essentials that all women need for this fall. So if you don't have them, guys, definitely go pick it up. But I am almost 100% sure you already have them in your wardrobe, guys. So if you like videos like this, please comment below. And if you stay to the end of this video, please comment Coco, we see you. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram at CocoStylesNY. That is my business page. CocoStylesNYC is my personal page for tall women. And my blog, CocoStylesNYC. For tall women that's a style blog and coco styles ny.com is my styling services guys i always plug my styling services because there are women who watch my channel who are in corporate america who would love to change their wardrobe and start showing up as the boss that they are guys so i will catch you guys in the next one bye guys